bouncing out of its mother's pouch. A key moment for the rock wallabies in Grampians National Park. It's really exciting to see, um, I guess, a young joey emerge from the pouch and hop around. They're like an unloaded rubber band. They can't quite hop around. They look a little bit uncoordinated, but nonetheless very cute. 25 years ago, this species was considered virtually extinct in the Australian state of Victoria. But thanks to captive breeding, the fortunes of the brush-tailed rock wallaby seems to be turning around. It's pretty important not to lose something that's been here a lot longer than we have. <laughs> the animals used to be commonplace here, but the introduction of foxes and extensive hunting in the 19th century saw them almost wiped out. But just as man-made action helped put them under threat, it's also played its part in getting them back on the map. So the animals have had a bit of a tough time in the previous, previous generations from uh, those different activities, and now it's up to us in both the conservation sector and the government sector to work out how we can um, conserve them and hopefully work through a process to bring them back. The last surviving wallaby from the park was captured in 1999 and joined a special breeding program. Nine years later, a group was then reintroduced to the area. The results were mixed at first, but now the colony is eight strong, including four joeys. They're a species that sort of, I guess, endears a lot of public sympathy. Um, they're an iconic species for conservation in Victoria, so this is part of an iconic project. You know, we've gone through some tough times, but to finally start to see this glimmer of success, you know, for me personally, um, is quite uplifting. The animals are nicknamed the shadow because they love spending time in dark places between the rocks. So if you want to enjoy a face-to-pouch encounter, you'll have to be quick and nocturnal. If you don't represent women in politics...